Hi friends, welcome to IT Articles. In this tutorial, we're gonna see Fetch API in JavaScript. So let's get started. Here we have a plain HTML page where we have added a script.js file. And here we have a button that have on-click events. This on-click function is available in this script file where we are locking just a single line on our console. So if we go to our browser and open the page localhost 8080 colon index html this is the button available here so let's press f12 to open the console tool clear the console if i click on this button you can see this message here to make any network call from javascript you must heard about terms called ajax ajax just to get any value from server or to push data to server API is a different way to do roughly the same task to get all these things that expose one function fetch it's a function now uh, we'll have a if condition just to see in case if our browser supports or not windows or fetch here will console log your browser supports fetch API in else condition will console like your browser doesn't support fetch API let's remove this line fresh up page if i click on this button you can see your browser supports fetch api let's open the same url in internet explorer so paste the url hit we'll press the f12 again to open the console of internet explorer ie if i click on this button you can see it says your browser doesn't support fetch api and let's open the same url in firefox also so if i paste the url hit and press the f12 to open console come to a page click on button see on console it says your browser supports web api so it was just an idea to show how we can have such condition to check if your browser supports or not the all the new browsers support fetch apis uh, first let me tell you the syntax of the fetch api so fetch api is nothing but it's a function and first parameter is the url that you want to hit with this fetch api and here the second parameter is complex object that can have different different properties like headers in case if you want to set any or send any to the server by default this uh, fetch will be considered as a get but you can pass methods as post and you can have a body and you can pass some data as a post call but by default it will be when you just specify the url it will be just get call on particular url so let's see an example of the get call fetch is actually a promise it returns your promise so first we'll see using a then and catch functions then i'll show you how we can use the sync of it also so we are calling one url in the fetch then we can have a then under the then we'll have a response all okay then response will have a one property called okay so here we are checking if we have a such okay property and in else condition i'm just logging one error message on the console just to show that there is something uh, wrong now in if condition where everything went well i'll be calling response dot json method which will actually convert the response data to a json or which returns actually a response data as a json but you can have text this will return you the uh, test data or you can return blob it will give you a blob data or you can have uh, array buffer so when we have response.json this will again give you a promise we'll return this promise then at last again we'll have another then there will receive the json data from this promise now on console i log this json data so console log data from url is json data so this will display the data and now we'll have a catch and uh, in catch we'll have console dot error and here we'll have exception right so far so good uh, we'll use some real url so let's search one url that gives you some data I'll use the first one request response.in. This is the URL and this return use some data. So let's try API use it and it gives you data. So let's copy this URL and paste the real URL here. So now this will give you the response. Then we are checking if okay, then uh, we are if all okay, then we are converting to JSON and here we are logging user with ID one details is and the data that you got. 
right so let's come here refresh our page and click see it returns you the data and if you go to the network tab you can see it is sending the request to the given url of the url that we pasted and this is the response so you can see the overall response is json that has again two property one is add and data is another property which gives you the proper data so whole is the response here if we come to the console you can see all data, data is available here we can we have a advertisement and we have a proper data now let's remove one so we'll be getting all the users data and let's run in all user details and now we will be using the console.table method and here we'll pass json data and you remember we'll be using the data property which will give you the actual data so if i come here refresh our page click see you are getting your data here so this is how we can use the fetch api using uh, which returns a promise and we are using a then and catch functions now we'll be converting this fetch example uh, to the async await also so uh, we'll be commenting all this code then we'll be converting individual line or each lines in the pattern of async await so you know it's a promise so we need to use a await and because when we are using await we need to make the function as async now if you see we need a then uh, then then we see if response is okay or not and so we'll be doing here similar and we'll have a if condition let's un command we'll be doing just reverse so because we have a json dot response so i'll be saying in case if we don't have of this response is not okay will be console or will create such a run on console then or if everything is okay then it will not be in the if condition and here we are calling the response method json method so again it's a promise so let json data is equals to await so now json data will be your actual data here we'll be logging the json data so let's uncomment these two lines and if we come back here we we don't have the catch here so to implement the catch functionality around the async await is wrap all the things in the try catch so try and catch inception in the catch we'll have console log or error or let's better to copy the same error we have here so come here and paste now i think let's format it we have one extra closing braces so let's remove that and control s right so we have the if condition here if we have the fetch okay we if not okay then console error uh, yeah we need to return from here else we'll come further we'll uh, get the json data and then we'll log message right so let's remove this one now control s and we'll go to the browser we'll open the same url in next tab and just to see if we get the exact same response so let's click so this is the response let's jump back to the first tab and let's see compare see exact same so this is how we can call the fetch api using async await keywords so that's all in this video guys thank you so much